Right, so. Um, started to rain last night, around about midnight, quarter past midnight. All going well, Butchie's doing good. Then this morning, about eight o'clock, <laughs> um, I'm thinking, my legs are a bit cold, they're a bit wet. <laughs> and the hoochie had caved in a bit and um, was dropping the water straight onto the stretcher. Soaked my um, sleeping bag and uh, me in it. So, uh, pack up time. It only took 15 minutes to pack up. That was pretty good. <laughs> Still raining. I'm not going to go to Mount Cory uh, through the bush tracks. There's just no point, really. Um, you're not going to see anything from the top of the hill in the rain. Um, head around to Canberra through Cooma, I think. Uh, it's a little bit longer, but it's a better road. Um, Cooma into Canberra. Go find a place to put up a tent when it's not so windy, hopefully. And um, get this car in and get it fixed. And I know that's going to cost me a fortune. But, got to do it. Can't drive a bad car. Well, it's still raining, but um, we're also in the clouds, so I've got to be very careful about what's ahead of me. Lights on, drop my speed, dropping it again actually. Just in case a um, horse decides to walk out in front of me. Kyandra Goldfields. <clears throat> Not much left here. And of course, everywhere you go, management trail. We're not allowed up there. But you can sort of see where they've been scraping away at the side of the hill and everything sort of caved in in that. <clears throat> Looking at the map, there is a mine shaft around here, or a mine. see anything in a minute. <clears throat> a bit annoying when they... Oh, it's a historical area. They've got tracks all over the place but you're not allowed to do anything. On the other side of the ridge there, <clears throat> you might be able to see some lines coming down. They were the old sluice lines. That channeled water from the dams in the area one of them being Three Mile Dam, brought them down into the uh, gold field so they could actually um, dig up the gold and sluice, put it through sluice lines or sluice buckets <clears throat> and then pan out the gold in this area. 
if you can see in front of us, that's that woggle, woggle lodge hut thing. A few big holes on our right. Yeah, the clouds coming in already. There's um, Chinese miners, I think. Found gold out here and built the town and everything. bother getting out because it's uh, wet and horrible. In fact it's not actually raining, we're in the cloud. <laughs> so this was a lodge. Stonework's still there. Fireplace is even still in there. See anything across the valley now because the clouds moved in. Barbecue. <clears throat> You're not going to drive down there. Can, oh, well, I can see some mounds and diggings and all sorts of stuff out in front of me. <clears throat> and those spruce lines. Probably can't see anything on the camera because it's all foggy and yeah. Yeah, you gotta hope that people have got headlights on so you can uh, see them coming. More diggings over there on the other side. <coughs> oh, just see the headlights of that truck. down this valley it's really really nice down there it's got the Ectombine River running through it very very pretty but I can't even see the back end of that truck it's in front of me oh now again <coughs> probably see all the sticks it looks a bit eerie doesn't it spooky oil on the road this is where a motorcyclist pranged up the other day Reach 
just under the cloud. Inside the hut, little fire ready to go. No ceiling, just a tin roof <laughs> and two rooms. Don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. <clears throat> it's um, what they probably call it an emergency hut. If there was snow out there and you had nowhere to go and the roads are all closed and you're getting a little bit cold, you would head for one of these huts and stay in here. At least you can light a fire, get some firewood, light a fire, and you'll be warm in here. <clears throat> New South Wales, Queensland. Hmm, okay. And the view out the window. Not much. <laughs> they have got two windows. I'm not surprised they haven't got windows on the other side. It's blowing a howling gale out there. That's what hit me last night. We're all locked in. <clears throat> you can see the clouds up there in the hills. We're just below the cloud line. But, um, really windy. It just hit me last night when I was on my camp stretcher under my little witchy. <laughs> and I got drowned. <laughs> So yeah, woke up this morning at about 8 o'clock going, mm, I feel a little bit wet and damp in here and uh, sort of sat up and as I sat up on the camp stretcher, all the water that was on the stretcher rolled into one spot and I got a wet ass. So now my um, camp stretcher's wet, my sleeping gear's all wet, hoochie's soaking wet, everything's wet. So get to Canberra, see what I can do. I um, was going to go up to Mount Cory, but um, there's not really much point because Mount Cory's actually up in the cloud line, so you won't see anything anyhow. I can probably do that on the way out after I get the car fixed if the weather lines up. We shall uh, just have to wait and see. From April, 4th of April to 4th of October, all of this area is closed because they're going around and shooting all the horses. And as with everywhere else in the park, no pets, no chainsaws, no smoking, no camping. And it's a day use area. So, but they don't have any barbecues down there. Or around here. Normally in the day use areas they have barbecues. Toilet up there. No four wheel drives, no motorbikes. No cars. That little track there just goes down and comes out next to the hut. I don't know where there's a walk trail from here, but um, if there is, it's pretty overgrown. <clears throat> anyway, Delaney Hut. Delaney's Hut. Delaney's Creek is actually down the bottom. Alright, let's get going. Oh, you can see another management track over there. It'd be nice to drive them, but no, we're not allowed to. Alright. Kuma and Canberra. You might be able to see those big black clouds out there. They're right behind me as well. I'm trying to outrun them. I'm doing 100 k's now. And um, they're overtaking me. That's the stuff that I was in um, up around Long Plain. Uh, rather wet. Nice and sunny ahead of us, but uh, that cloud's coming through real fast. <laughs> 